What's up guys? Welcome back to Boost Brothers Garage. In this episode, we are installing the front coilovers on the Widebody 944. Stay tuned. We got a little ahead of ourselves here and before we started filming, we tore out all the old stuff. If you need to know how to tear down a 944 front suspension, We've done that in a previous video. I'll throw that link up here. We did go ahead and throw the caster camber plates on. These are ground control, just like the coilovers that we're gonna be using. Obviously they're a little used, but that, uh, that's how you get a good deal. So that's what I'm using, used parts. Now that these are in, I have them set to what the camber plate says is two and a half degrees negative camber, and I have it set with as much caster as possible. We'll do a full race alignment after we get all this stuff installed and get the rear suspension installed, but for the time being, this should at least get us in the ballpark. Let's start bolting the hubs to the front coilover assemblies, and we'll put this side together first. The bottom bolt on these is standard. The top bolt has an eccentric built into it, so that you can adjust camber. I'm gonna go ahead and put both of them in the most negative camber setting that I can. And then we'll be able to adjust how we need to with the camber plates. I lied. While this top bolt is eccentric and on the factory setup, you do adjust camber that way, where the bolt holes are drilled on these aftermarket coilovers, you can sit here and turn it all day long and it does nothing. It doesn't contact the factory spot on the hub. So these are non-adjustable now at the bottom, which is good. One less thing to have to adjust or worry about. Now that the hub is bolted on, we'll go ahead and reassemble the spring and the spring hat. And we can shove it in there. Now that we've got this hanging here, I'll go ahead and bolt up the ball joint to the bottom and get everything situated, and then we'll hammer that top nut home. Unfortunately, I don't have a socket big enough, a 22 millimeter, to put this nut on top of the strut, so we're gonna do this by hand. And we've got to hold the rod in place as you tighten this lock nut down. That is just static, no compression, no nothing. It's gonna be real, real low. The only thing left is uh, hooking the tie rod back up and then putting the brakes on. The tie rod ends are completely shot. I've got new ones of those. I'm gonna go ahead and throw those on there. We won't film that, that's easy enough. Then we'll slap the, uh, the Cayman Boxster red calipers and rotors on here. And this side will be done. We'll move over to the other. We got our new tie rod ends installed and bolt it up. Now, it's time to put the brakes back together. At least for the time being, we don't have any brake lines and I don't know that these are the correct size rotors yet either. I think these are replacement 944 rotors and I need the rotors for a Boxster Cayman. I'm gonna look at the part numbers that are stamped into the calipers figure out what car they came off of and what size uh, diameter brake rotors I need, then I can start figuring out what to do from there. And here's the reason I say they're not big enough. The bottom of the pad is all the way over here and it'd be hard to see with the lighting here, but you've got probably this much pad sticking over the outside diameter of the rotor as well. So it's 100% not the right rotor, but this still will let us test fit our wheels and everything because the caliper placement is correct. This side is complete uh, besides bolting the sway bar up, which we'll do after we have the other side done. And with the power of editing, this side is complete as well. We're gonna throw our 968 MO30 31 millimeter front sway bar on, throw the wheels back on, and then we can drop this thing to the ground. By the way, sorry about the lighting. We, uh, we've been fighting it a lot. We still don't have the ballast replaced for the overhead lights. So we're using shop lighting and it obviously isn't the best for filming, so apologies. All right, boys and girls, it's the moment of truth. I think that's pretty low. 
and pretty stiff. And I like it. Now I think we need to throw the front clip back on and see how it looks like with it on there. Which I'm assuming is a lot better. Well, I think that's a little too low. We've obviously got some adjusting to do, but the good thing is we have the adjustability. These wheels obviously aren't gonna stay. We're gonna get something that fits much better, uh, which you know we already have the, the centers for. We just have to measure the barrels and lips that we're gonna need. Now that the coilovers are on, we can actually do that and get an accurate measurement. All in all, I'm really, really happy with this. The fit and finish of the ground control stuff was fantastic. Um, really happy with the quality of the product itself. The adjustability is great. These are 450 pound front springs, just pushing up and down on the car. They feel great. Uh, it doesn't seem overly stiff. We won't know until we get it out on the track. But man, this was a, a big step in the right direction. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.